Hello and welcome to the Access Basics for Beginners course. I'm really excited that you're here and I'm really excited to help you to get started learning Access. Access is a gigantic program and at first viewing it can seem very overwhelming, very intimidating. It has a lot of different pieces and parts. And so my goal with this short course is to get you familiar with all of the different moving parts and get you some real hands-on experience so that you can create a simple database and see some of the different pieces and parts like forms and reports and queries and actually create some of them on your own to help you get past that sense of, of overwhelm and intimidation that can come from looking at access. So we're going to jump right in and get started. The first screen that you see when you open up Access is this screen here. This is where you can open a new item, you can open an existing spreadsheet, you can save, you can print, you can close Access, and you can get into other options here. But we're going to open up a new database, and you do that by going to Blank Database, clicking on it, and then you name your database. This is something that's different between, say, Access and Excel. Where Excel, you create it and then you name it. In Access, you actually name it when you create it. So let's just call this practice. And feel free to follow along with me while we're doing this. In fact, I highly encourage that because that's going to get you some really good hands-on practice. And if you need to pause or rewind a little bit at any point, go for it. Again, remember, this course is really designed just to get you some hands-on experience. There's so much that you can learn, and I'm not going to stop to explain everything that I go past, but I will explain the important key points so that you understand enough to create the things that I'm going to show you how to create. So anyway, we've named this practice, and we're going to go to create here. You can see it's saving this in my documents folder. You can create your own location if you like by browsing here but we're just going to leave it in the documents we're going to go create and that's going to bring us right into access and it actually created our first table for us now before i get into creating tables and the other objects in your database i want to give you a tour of the access ribbon and some of the tools so this area here is what's known as the access ribbon this is where all your tools are and you have tabs along the top here that allow you to work with different ribbons. So because I've created a table, it's created a special ribbon called Table Tools, which allows me to do some edits for the table. So you can see this allows me to edit fields. This allows me to edit the table itself. And we'll get into that later. But just so you know that whenever you're in a table or a, an object, within Access, it's going to give you these specific tools that are only available when you have something open. So we'll go back to Home so I can show you the more general tools that you'll find. So you'll probably recognize some of these from Microsoft Word. These are just formatting tools. You have Find options so you can search and find things within your table. These are tools for working with your records which is essentially working with your data entry. These are sorts and filters. This is your clipboard, copy, cut, format, painter, and paste. And then this is your view. And the view is something that you'll use a lot. You can either do the drop down here. And right now we're in what's called data sheet view. This is a data sheet. But the other one is design view. And if you click on design view, it's first going to ask you to save it. We'll just call this practice table. Click OK. And now we're in what's called design view. And again, I'll get into this more as we go and build our first table. But just know that if you either use the drop down here or just click on this, you'll switch back and forth from design view to table view. And you'll go back and forth between the two of those as you're editing and modifying and creating tables. Okay, so that's our home tab. The file tab is what's going to actually take you back to where you can uh, open new documents, open existing documents, 
save your documents, print your documents, close access, get into your personal account, leave feedback for Microsoft, and explore different options and settings within Access. So to get back to the main screen, you'll just click this back button and that puts you back in your database. So we're on the Home tab. Let's look at the Create tab. This is where you're going to actually create different objects in your database. So I already showed you how to go to Create and Table, and that's how we created this table. But we can go to, we can create queries here. We can create forms here in this section. We can create reports here in this section. And then you can do macros and Visual Basic in this section. Then there's external data. For instance, I mean the most common would be importing a spreadsheet from Excel that you want to turn into a database. Then you can go to here and you can import an Excel spreadsheet using this link. So this section here is for importing and then this section here is for exporting as various things. And you can see you can ex export it to Excel, you can export it as a PDF, and obviously much many more options. Then we get into our database tools, but you have compact and repair database, you have your macros and visual basics. This offers an alternative way to create relationships, but you can actually create them right within your tables as you're creating them. You can analyze your database, you can move data, or you can go and grab additional add-ins to bring into Access. So I already covered the table tools, and whatever object you're in that you have open here will pop up a different tool. And then finally, this is the tell me what you want to do. It's essentially like a help function, although it's a little more effective, so you can just type in what you want to do in Access, and it will often bring you right to the operation, or it will bring you to a help screen that will help you to find the answers that you need. So that's the ribbon, and then we also have the quick start menu here, which allows you to quickly save, undo, redo, and then here you can actually customize the quick access toolbar, and all you have to do is click on any of these things and you can add them to this toolbar up here. So if you want to have quick print on here, you just click that and see it adds the icon for quick print and it makes it quicker to use. You can also go down here to find more commands that you can add to the quick access toolbar. And this is something you do after you've been using access for a while and you start to get a sense of things that you will use frequently and you want rapid access to. So those, that's the options there. I'm going to get rid of the quick print. And then the last thing I haven't showed you here is the navigation pane to the left of your table here. And you can actually close the navigation pane if you just want to work within your table. You can click that again to open it. But this will show all of the objects in your database. And you can organize these in a number of ways, but generally you'll have like tables, queries, forms, reports, and then you'll have all of the tables that you have listed. You'll have all the reports, all of the queries, all of the forms, and it'll all be here so you can just quickly click into these and bring them up on your main screen. And you can use this button here to sort your navigation pane so that it best suits the project and allows you to find things more easily. So that's a quick tour of the access interface and the ribbon and toolbars.